so hello everyone uh, this is my third and last video showing you my new vim config in the first video i have shown you all of these plugins in the second video i have shown you all of these plugins and in this video i'm do i'm going to show you three more plugins last three plugins and some uh, most of about my uh, new vim config directory structure so uh, let's start with a bc.vim so i was supposed to show you this plugin in the second video uh, with markdown preview but due to some issues uh, i was not able to and that issue was that the brave extension which is dark reader was messing up with the server of pc.vim so i'll show you in this video so uh, let me open up a terminal not vs code let me open up a terminal i'll increase the font size a bit yeah should be good and i'll open up a brave browser so for html pages so what bracy.vim is it's basically a live server for your html pages uh, you might have used in vs code so for html pages let me go to my g object tutorials it has a lot of html pages and let me open up index.html so as you can see we have a html page and uh, let me start the bracy so bracy and it will start the server so as you can see it is the preview of the html page and to show you some uh, changes uh, i'll jump to my uh, body tag okay and you can see as i'm going down it is it is highlighting the tag i'm on and let's make some change so i'll go to uh, let's say over here and i delete all this and i'll add some text like a video about nvim config and i'll make some changes over here also so as you can see everything is live you can see at the left side i'll make a demo of bracey bracey.vim and make some more changes let's add some style so style and let's make the font red so color red can see the font color is red and uh, let's make the background pink so back ground okay background color and pink okay there's some basic yeah, background background color so you can see at the left side it's pink so everything is live and as you go down it will highlight the section you are on so this was bracy.vim pretty cool and let's move on to the second plugin which we have so second plugin is cp helper so cp helper stand for competitive programming helper it will be really handy if you're doing if you solve some problems on let's say code forces code shift or hackerang some platform like that to demonstrate that i'll open up a terminal again and then increase the font size and i'll open up a browser instance and i'll start the neovim and start the cp helper receiver or the listener so cp receive cps receive so it's showing uh, showing listening on port something so to demonstrate it uh, i'll go to code forces and then let's go to problem set and let's uh, sort it by rating and i'll open up this this problem okay this is a code forces problem and this is a problem statement input output and this these are the some test cases okay so as i click on this plus icon it's an uh, brave extension for cp helper as i click on this on the right hand side in the neovim you can see you have it has created a new file solution.cpp and it has prompted that all of all the best and then i can write type out all the uh all this of, of the solution so i have already have the solution for that okay percent y okay and i can paste it so this is the solution for this so you can type out the uh, the solution for the problem and then now you can test it so if i do c cph and if i do test okay 
on the right hand side we uh, get some wrong answer so it will uh, so it has already captured the input and output the test the test cases and this is the input and expected output input and expected output so i know though what's the problem over here so i'll go here and then i'll add an end, end line over here and now i can test it so if i do cph test and you can see result all everything is correct status accepted status accepted so this is how this plugins comes really handy if you do if you solve some problems on such platform as it will parse all the test cases and then over here you can see it has input one input two this is the inputs and this is the outputs and it will mm -hmm. test it against these test cases the automatically you don't have to do anything and one more thing uh, which this plugin does is really cool it is it will uh, store everything in, on your computer in a very structured way so if i go to problems i'll open up ranger so here you can see uh, there are it will first show you the 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 platforms so we have code forces code chef code forces and hackerang inside each platform you have list of the try like the, the the contest so the contest you have tried so i have on the code for code chef i have tried these three contests and inside all these three contests you can see the problem statement so these are the problems and inside the problem directory you can get the cpp out which is the executable input output and the solution.cpp the solution file so all of this is done by this plugin automatically you don't have to do anything so really cool plugin if you solve problems do check it out so that was cp helper and um, let's move on to last plugin which is hop so it is another really cool plugin i'll open up a file for that let's say we open up the index file which we are using and what hop uh, let you do is hop uh, hop between the places on your file so what i mean by that is let's say i call hop and it has a lot of options so i'll go with hop line start let's say uh, okay hop line hop line start okay hop line start and if i hit enter it will show you bindings so uh, if you want to go to let's say over here you can press n and h so i'll call it again and then let's say i want to go to over here i can do n y so hop line start it will show you bindings to hop between lines start of the lines and the next thing i use from hop is hop between word so hop and then word hop word so it will show you bindings for all the words and if i want to hop to this word i can press n t so i'm hop to this one i can call hop a word again so if i want to go to this word i can do n r so this is hop and yeah you won't be calling the function from the uh from the command line uh the the command line you have you will you'll be creating a binding for that so for hop line uh i have binded it to colon l so colon l will call hop line and i can uh, switch to let's say nh i can hop to nc i can hop let's say over here a so that was hop line which is binded to colon l and then hop word is binded to my colon j so colon j will call hop word and i can easily hop between words in the file so this is a uh, another really cool plugin a hop has a lot of other features also uh, like hop anywhere it's really weird i don't know you'll be using this so it will let you hop anywhere so let's say i go to n n o so yeah it hopped till here so you can check out all the hop commands i use only two of them which is hop line start and hop word so that was uh all of the plugins i have so far i hope you like few of them uh so at last i'll be showing you my directory structure for neom so for that i'll go to my config directory 
and then ls so as you can see i have nvim uh the nvim directory and few more are in different color because uh, the nvim directory is not actually over here it's a symbolic link so the actual nvim config directory is somewhere else and i have created a symbolic link to the config directory so if i do tree nvim uh over here you can see in the nvim directory we have uh init.lua which is the init uh, init file you have for nvim and then lua directory and then plugin so this this directory is created by the plugin manager which is packer.nvim so it's not i have created it's created automatically by the packer and lua uh, we have binding so it it has all of the bindings and then general i'll show you these files and in uh, uh and another file which i have it is plugin.lua it has list of all the plugins to be installed and in the plugin config directory i have a configuration for all of the plugins so these are the configuration for auto pairs auto save and all the rest, rest of the plugins so i'll show you the first uh, let's go to my new directory and over here you can see we have lua plugin and in it so i'll open up init file so in init file first you have this block of code it is for the packer.nvm so packer.nvm stuff over here here i'm sourcing all of the lua files all of the rest of the configuration files i'm sourcing it over here and yeah i'm sourcing bindings in general also and this is the configuration for cp helper so it was just two lines so it like uh, putting it in a another file doesn't make sense so i put it in the uh in the init file so this is configuration for cp helper mm -hmm. so i'll go to uh lua and i'll open up binding so it is it has all of the bindings i have so far you can go through them so these are the bindings mm -hmm. and then in general i have uh, said some some new vim variables so these are some new vim variables and yeah i have persistent undo so persistent undo check it out what it is and then we have comments on new line not sure about this and then disable lua line on nvim tree and some auto commands so and the in the plugin dot lua i have listed all of the plugins so these are all of the plugins which is installed i've shown you almost all of them and in the plugin config directory i have configuration for all of these you can check it yourself it is on the github and that's pretty much it for my new config and that was it for the new one i hope you like it i'll be I think I'm going to make a playlist uh, configuring your NeoVim from scratch. So if you want to use my configuration, you can use it directly. Uh, you have to do some tweaking also. And if you want to do it from scratch, uh, I'll be making up a playlist for that. So yeah. So that's it. And goodbye.